Good afternoon, I'm Pallavi Ghosh. I begin the bulletin with some news coming in and this has got to do with the law minister, Mr. Kiran Rijiju, who visited Tawang and in fact he meets up with the soldiers and after that he has tweeted. The Yangtze area in Tawang, Arunachal Pradesh is fully secured now due to adequate deployment of the brave Jawans of the Indian Army. You can see those pictures right up on your screens of the law minister just after he landed in that area in Tawang. And this is just after a 9th December incident when we saw that incursion taking place between the Chinese and the Indian side, where the Indian side retaliated. Much politics has broken out between the Congress party, opposition parties on one hand and the BJP, where inside parliament the Congress has been demanding that there should be a discussion on the Chinese issue. In fact, Rahul Gandhi's comments yesterday has also incurred a lot of criticism from the BJP. My colleague Tejinder is now joining me. Tejinder, yes, over to you. Uh, yes, well, we, uh, Rahul Gandhi had made uh, this comment wherein he said that uh, China was preparing for a war and uh, we had vacated large part of our territory uh, uh, due to the PLA transgression. These were the allegations that were made by Rahul Gandhi. Uh, but, and Rahul Gandhi also said uh, that uh, our soldiers are being beaten on the LAC and this government was doing uh, nothing. Now, uh, the, uh, the, the Union Law Minister Kiran Rijiju has uh, visited Yangtze, uh, which is the place where uh, the clashes between the Indian Army and the PLA took place on 9th of December, in which some of our soldiers were injured. And a uh, more number of Chinese soldiers uh, were also injured, but our soldiers repulsed PLA soldiers back. Uh, after that, we heard uh, the statement of uh, the Raksha Mantri in the parliament. And after today also, we heard how uh, the Raksha Mantri made that statement wherein he said that our soldiers, both in Galwan and in Tawang, have shown uh, tremendous courage wherein they have uh, repulsed the enemy. Today, uh, the, uh, the, the Union Law Minister has posted a picture uh, with soldiers where uh, he is standing in Yangtze area in Tawang, Arunachal Pradesh, and he assures uh, the countrymen that Yangtze area in Tawang, Arunachal Pradesh, is fully secured now due to educate deployment of brave Jawans of Indian Army. So clearly uh, a message not only to the uh, Congress party, but also an assurance to the entire countrymen that our soldiers of the Indian Army are guarding firm our line of actual control. They are uh, making it sure that every inch of our uh, territory is safe, secure from any uh, kind of transgression and also a message to uh, the Congress party wherein they have been uh, leveling allegations that our territory has been occupied by PLA. So uh, this is also a message for them and there is a picture proof uh, that uh, the, the, the Union Law Minister is standing at Yangtze uh, in Tawang with our soldiers and uh, this, this clearly seems that our soldiers are in full control of the situation. They are relaxed. They are. Uh, if, you, if you see the body language, so it seems that uh, there is no stress right now in Yangtze. Uh, the Indian Army is in full control of the situation there. Yes, Pallavi. And you know, uh, the uh, the law minister himself actually comes from Arunachal Pradesh, and there has been much politics which has really happened over it. Do uh, you think him going there, and we see those pictures where he's meeting up with the soldiers, clearly boosting their morale, is also a very strong message he's sending out, one to the Jawans, and second also to the opposition parties, and of course to China? Uh, yes, Pallavi, uh, when they say uh, killing a bird with uh, one arrow, now he's killing the bird, with, uh, three birds rather, with, uh, with, with one shot. He's sending a message mm -hmm. to China. He's also boosting the morale of uh, the soldiers and also sending a message across the country and uh, to the opposition parties as well. That he, number one, uh, the Indian army is in full control of the situation. Uh, the message to the China is clear that uh, the entire government, uh, the entire machinery of uh, the uh, the Narendra Modi-led government stands firm with the soldiers and uh, the, the, the whatever decision or whatever uh, uh, the, the decision uh, on ground the soldiers have to be have to take to deal with the situation like they did uh, during uh, the, the clashes on 9th of December. The government uh, stands resolute with them. They stand shoulder to shoulder with them and the entire nation stands with them. And also it sent a message to Rahul Gandhi wherein uh, the Congress party's bluff has been called that Yangtze or some of 
uh, the areas have been illegally occupied by uh, ch- uh, the, the the PLA, the Chinese army. Uh, it, uh, the, the picture clearly shows that uh, the Indian army is in full control and uh, the entire nation stands with them. And it further boosts the morale of the Indian army because at uh, such treacherous height, you see uh, the, the, the top leadership, the, one of the top most cabinet ministers of the country goes there to visit the soldiers, uh, give them a message. Uh, that uh, the, the the country's top leadership stands with them in ev- uh, in, in every situation. Yes, Pallavi. Yes, and you're right. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, after all, Rahul Gandhi is saying that the Chinese are going to start a war there, also send us a messaging that are the Jawans well prepared or not, and therefore certainly a comment which is not going to be seen as coming down well. Many thanks, Sajinder, for getting us those details. Well, there's strong war of words now between both the sides, but not just the law ministers claim, sending out a clear-cut message to Congress party. It's also the INB minister, Mr. Anurag Thakur, who too has hit out at Rahul Gandhi for constantly doubting the Indian army. Rahul Gandhi ji ke bhyan par mujhe koi jyada hirani nahi hoti, lekin bar bar ye dikhata hai ki jab Doklam ki ghatna bhi hui, tab bhi Rahul Gandhi ji kisi aur ke saath nahi. चाइनीस अधिकारियों के साथ सू पीते नजर आए जबकि भारतीय सेना के जवान अतिक्रमण करने वाले चीन के सैनिकों के साथ लोहा दिखाते हुए नजर आए जब भारत के सैनिकों ने सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक की तब भी राहुल गांधी जी और विपक्ष के नेता प्रश्न चिन्ह खड़ते खड़े करते नजर आए शायद राहुल गांधी जी और कांग्रेस पार्टी को भारतीय सेना पर विश्वास कम है Okay, let me go across to my colleague Nikhil, who's also joining in. Nikhil, so you have the law minister, you had the defense minister earlier, you now have the INB minister. Clearly, the Congress is now being attacked from all the sides. Well, clearly, and the attacks are being made because of the comments which was made by MP from Vaida and Rahul Gandhi over the completion of the 100 days of the Bharat Jodhri Yatra. And now there is this big demand which is being made by the leaders of the Bharatiya Janata Party. And today as well, Pallavi, while addressing a press conference, Gaurav Bhatia urged uh, Rahul Gandhi to apologize in front of the nation for the comments he has made. And also at the same time, he has said to Khadge that if he is the pre- uh, president of the Congress party in two cents and he should immediately sack Rahul Gandhi from the Congress party. So these are the two demands which are being raised now uh, from the Bharatiya Janata Party. And at the same time, uh, the leaders uh, of BJP, they have been saying that whenever uh, uh, the events or the incidents uh, that we have seen that any of the neighboring countries attacking our Indian army, every time Rahul Gandhi is the person and the leaders of the Congress party are the ones who raise this question over the courage and the valor which is usually performed every time by our army. And this is the reason why all guns blazing is what we can say the BJP is doing with Rahul Gandhi. And now it is on the uh, Congress side to come out and uh, you know, uh, present a strong defense over the comments which has been made by the, their leader Rahul Gandhi. Back to you, Pallavi. Yes. But you know, Nikhil, the point is that it's not the first time. I remember in the last Lok Sabha elections, the Galwan and his question over the surgical strikes, the Balakot air strikes, all of that was also considered to be one of the main reasons why the Congress was almost uh, wiped out and became a completely dismal performance. Every time this kind of a comment is made by the Congress and Rahul Gandhi, you think the BJP is able to build up on its narrative that nationalism, national security is something which Congress doesn't understand? Well, exactly. And this is something which Rahul Gandhi as well needs to understand. On one side, he is completing the 100 days. He is, you know, uh, he's out in the public with all the positivity. But on the other side, he gives something or the other to the leaders of BJP, which then also makes at the same time embarrassing for the leaders of the Congress party to defend their leader, uh, Rahul Gandhi. And yes, that's rightly mentioned. Time and again, we have seen that such kind of statements which are, which has come uh, over the questioning of the army from the Rahul Gandhi side. So he needs to understand post-2014 how these things have changed, particularly, uh, you know, as far as the Indian army is concerned. And on one side, if uh, the army is battling with their enemies, on the other side, these are the comments which actually, you know, it at the same time discourages uh, the valor and the courage of the Indian army as well. And this is something which is being raised by the leaders of the BJP. And also, uh, 